Sean, thank you. Well, the return of Mayfest now bringing crowds back to Fort Worth's Trinity Park. It's been a two year hiatus because of the pandemic. Mayfest started off today and runs through Sunday. All right, so what can you expect? Live entertainment, mm -hmm. a lot of great food. Okay. And more tonight. Of you can expect Macy Jenkins, who's out there. Hey, Macy. Hi, Heather and Steve. I know it's been a long three years, but I'm so glad to be back here. The action is in Trinity Park, and while it's going to be a hot weekend, organizers are still expecting record crowds, but they've got a lot of stuff that they've put in place to make sure that they keep visitors safe. Mayfest is back in action this weekend after two years of consecutive cancellations during the pandemic. It wasn't fun being cooped up. The return even sweeter as Mayfest turns 50. You said that and I got chills. And she's going to need them since weekend temperatures are expected to climb into the mid 90s. This is Texas. <laughs> uh, we're used to heat. It's a little warm, but it's nice. It's very tolerable. Still, it never hurts to be prepared. This year, there's not one but two hydration stations sponsored by the Trinity River Water District, where visitors can fill up at no charge. It's a great refresher. But if the heat gets overwhelming, we do have um, two paramedic teams on site at all times, as well as nurses from Texas Health Resource. And starting on Saturday, they'll have an extra large EMS unit available called an AMBUS that will hold over 20 people to be able to cool their temperatures and be able to take care of um, any types of symptoms. And rest assured, they haven't forgotten about the animals. The alpacas and things like that, we hose them down with the water hose. And in addition to the alpaca, the llama, and all the little goats, you've got this little guy. A wallaby, and his name is Hopper. Giving them fresh water constantly, refreshing it with more water. Um, if they get too cold, too hot, we put them in the trailer with fans and ice things and things like that. Of course, one of the most exciting parts about Mayfest coming back is Twiggy, the water skiing squirrel, definitely a staple. <laughs> with a little preparation, we are staying hydrated. You're in for a whole lot of fun. We're ready to come back and eat some great food, and we're ready to come back and enjoy this beautiful park. Now, if you're watching, you still have about a half an hour to come down here and enjoy all the fun. The gates open tomorrow at 10 a.m. and Sunday at 11 a.m. I'm on the merry-go-round because <laughs> why not, Heather and Steve? Exactly. Why not? This is so fun. <laughs> why not? That it's a nice night. Fun. Heather, I have to say, I love the squirrel oh. holding on and actually looking at people. <laughs> it's like looking, so great. Looking around, it's so just fun. like, hey, whatever. It's fun. Squirrel knows what to do. Thanks, Macy. What is the squirrel doing, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thanks, Macy. <laughs> all right, so if you want to check out the rides like Macy and all the other events and activities, just grab your phone right now, scan the QR code on your screen. Again, Mayfest runs through Sunday. A great way to spend Mother's Day.